we can see right here is we have some sounds. We also have uh, kind of areas where they think uh, individuals are. Oh, and we have a neutral unit in the middle of this uh, field. Now, there are neutral units on the map. Uh, I don't think they do anything yet, uh, but they are there. Uh, what we are going to do here is uh, this mortar section. We're going to call in some HE right around here. I want HE. Let's put it nearby. So we'll have two of those. Now they're adjusting to that and they won't fire until we give them an order to fire. So they're kind of like uh, you can see that this box is where they'll be targeting, which is like a nine grid uh, reference or a nine grid kind of area of effect. Uh, so, yeah. We're going to go fast. We're going to go fast on the second. Okay, they're ready and they're ready. So we got two mortars ready to go. They'll be ready to fire as soon as we spot anything, and we do have our scout teams here that are ready to scout, are ready to spot if they find anything. I do expect the enemy to have a decent amount of tanks, uh, mechanized forces of some sort, and a crap load of infantry. Now we're fighting the Soviets specifically. Now there are, as I said before, there is the, uh, for the Warsaw Pact, there is, uh, Poland, East Germany, and the USSR. And for, whoop, Uh, we had an in... We had, he's being attacked. Okay, he's being attacked, so what we're going to do is we're going to have you reverse back. Now, there is a time delay on orders uh, based upon how far they are from uh, HQ unit, that kind of stuff. So it'll take him 20 seconds now before he will actually accept the order. Well, he'll, he'll take the order and start reversing out because I want him to just reverse backwards to that square where he can't be spotted. And yeah, there are rockets incoming there. He's got five seconds. All right, they're missing so far. He's got two more seconds before he'll start getting out of there. All right, he's reversing back. Did he get hit? No, he's still good. He's reversing, though. Looks like we have tracked vehicles and vehicles up along this section. Okay, he's off of uh, ground, so he's on... Close. No cigar, though. Okay, once he gets reversed, he's going to go back behind this house. Yeah, they're moving down there. Looks like they can no longer see him, so that's good. Okay. Definitely moving. These are some sort of tr these are some sort of wheeled vehicle. Yeah, they're wheeled vehicles. As they get closer to scouts like scouts uh, the way it goes is like there's a there's contacts specific contacts and the actual contact what i mean by that is like you'll see it'll be like vehicle question mark then if it gets closer it'll be wheeled vehicle and then once they get close enough it'll actually know what it is whether when they get line of sight on it so right now we know there is two wheeled vehicles down here and a tracked vehicle of some sort that could be anything the tracked vehicle could be an apc or it could be a t60 two or something Just gonna double check the line of sight on this guy. Okay, so he has line of sight on this bottom plane here. We did kind of favor this northern plane, but I think we'll still be good. That's another tracked vehicle. See, it gives the impression that it might be a uh, a tank, but just because it's a tracked vehicle doesn't mean it's a tank. Like it could be a BDRM uh, or yeah, I think a BDRM uh, or a BMP. 
uh, looks like they pop smoke coming out of there. Oh yeah, there's definitely a vehicle party going on down here of some sort. So we're going to increase that. He's actually trailing smoke, so he has a smoke generator on when he did that, which is smart. The AI is very smart in this game. And it's not always... And see, the sound contacts aren't necessarily exactly what, because they went off the map, and as far as I know, you can't do that. So we have possible contacts up north here. A vehicle of unknown designation there. You see what I was talking about? Just a vehicle. Don't know if it's tracked or wheeled. Vehicle, tracked vehicle. That's a P that's a B B T R. Looks like some sort of APC of some sort. See so can't spot that yet. Now, the 50 caliber was probably not going to do a lot to it, but it, it might suppress it. We're going to do effective range here. Now, we did hit it and apparently do a little bit of damage to it. And you can see the, uh, the change I did to its SOP, again, also is affected by command delay. Oh, this isn't a 50 cal. This is a this is a 20 millimeter. I'm an idiot. I w I kept thinking it's a it's a oh, 113. So a 20 mil might actually do something to this. It did. That destroyed it. Nice. Okay. So we have the first shots, and we have a destroyed Russian vehicle. Either we killed the crew or we knocked it out. It might be a, it might just be a mobility kill. Uh, so we're a little scout force in uh, Motzlar. Uh, if somebody's German, let me, uh, tell me how to pronounce that, even though I will never remember and probably continue to mispronounce it if I ever see it again. Uh, just tell me. It's, you know, it's... It's something. At least I'm going to try. What this probably is is maybe a probing action. They're, they're probably moving out to see. I can definitely tell they're trying to get somewhere up here or over here because they're using these roads. And if you give a fast transit act, like a fast, uh, if you want the, the enemy, the, if you want your units to move fast, it'll automatically select a path along the fastest routes, which are paved roads. So you can see it was trying to go down this main road. It's missing a lot, but it did, it did damage things. It might have uh, immobilized it. And destroyed it again. Nice. That's two down. Two vehicles to nothing so far, except... Uh, yeah, nothing. These, these guys didn't even take any damage when they got... Uh, those ATGMs rained on them. So we're going to increase the speed a little bit more. That's a wheeled vehicle. Something's coming down here. Now you might be saying, oh, this seems really easy. This is like, uh, you know, they're just coming at you. But there are three different types of uh, mission currently in the game. There's this one, which is a defense mission. There is an at there's an attack, and then there's, uh, like, um, I don't know what it's actually, I don't remember what it's called. I think it's engagement or something like that. Essentially, the objectives are in the center and nobody owns them. Uh, so that's a thing. But what I wanted to do with this mission, for the narrative purposes of this potential campaign, if this, is, like I said, if this video does well, we're going to go through this whole fictionalized war uh, as much as I can. Uh, because, I don't know, I'm I'm a GM at heart. A uh, world builder at heart. Uh, but um, I wanted to simulate the fact that this is the opening waves of this war. So, the, you know, the, the Russians are pouring over the border, along with their allies. And uh, NATO has been set up for, you know, a few weeks. Uh, so they're dug in and ready to go. And the first opening shots of this war are going to be in the favor of NATO, heavily. Uh, but as soon as the Warsaw Pact gain a 
potential uh, or uh, gain a breakthrough all along the line, things are certainly going to change. Let's hit for that tracked vehicle. Don't know what it is yet. It's going to come through those trees and we might get line of sight. Okay, or we didn't. What was this? Oh, that was another APC. It's another hit. It's not, that might have just been an... That might have been like a unit, a platoon of those of mechanized troops that were trying to cross this southern area here. Didn't know that that was set up in this town. Yeah, we got a lot of infantry coming in. Ooh. That's a rocket. Is that going for you? Yeah, it was going for you. It's a wheel vehicle. And it's coming from that one. So it's got line of sight. So there might be a scout somewhere out here that's hidden. It's another dead one. See, I've been uh, my test games that I played with this. I uh, all my scout sections that were mounted had M113s because I thought they were better initially. But M114 uh, A1E1s, not bad uh, if you're playing in this time period where they're actually being used. Uh, this 20 millimeter as its main gun is pretty effective. All right, we got tracked vehicles coming in from the north. Now, this is a blind spot for the majority of our defensive lines. This is where they're going to be able to actually make gains. Now, you may be asking, why did I put so many mines here? Because if they did try and cross this river at a, uh, back and come across here, they would be funneled into this minefield. So, it's, it, like, why not? This is a perfect place to put a heavy amount of minefields. Even though it did mean I didn't put as many down here, I did double up on a lot of the other obstacles here to slow them down. Oh, I gotta take a drink. Oh, we might have gotten troops. And, yep, another... And another one of these BTRs. Must have realized they were in danger. You saw in the little uh, icon down here in the bottom left that they buttoned up. That is actually something that is represented. All right, enough time has passed, so we're going to change the targeting solutions here. There are troops coming down, so we're going to put HE frags there. And I'm going to want another set right around there. I'm going to change the SOP of this guy to effective ranges. Same with this one. To save ammo. He's down to 70 rounds. I mean, he's, he's getting kills with it. I mean, that, you know. But uh, I don't want to waste the rounds. Also, yeah, shooting at those troops, it's five rounds per. I'd rather him not waste it on the troops. Okay, you're ready to fire, so we're going to put fire for effect four rounds. So when you get down to 84, we'll go with, uh, we'll, we'll hold fire, assess what, we, uh, what we've done. And we'll see where these land. I love watching these things come in because it is pretty randomized. Okay, that one was a bit far. Hold fire because we fired four. I usually go for four round fire missions with the mortars. Oh, we got a kill. You heard that. A motor rifle squad. Alright, check this. What are you firing with your main gun? Heat? Nietzsche, any tank? Oh, no, you're, you're not. I do have you on effective range, don't I? Yeah, effective, effective. I'll 
Okay, let's readjust this self-propelled mortar. A bit further up there. Set range for hard targets to be about... 2,000 meters... Soft targets to be about a thousand meters. I did tell you to go to effective range, didn't I? Ready to fire, but not yet. Come these tracked vehicles coming across. Now, what are they? Is the question. Self propelled guns? SU 85s. Well, I mean, they're ASU 85s, so they're modernized versions, but wow. Definitely digging down there, Soviets. All right, let's speed this up a little bit. These guys probably retreated due to morale issues. ammo do you have? Not a lot. Okay, yeah, we definitely have quite a few. We've got BTRs, BTRs, wheeled vehicles, some troops down here, troops here, self-propelled gun there. See where you're at. You're right in the firing zone. Fire for effect four rounds. Comes that shot from the tank, I think? Or nope. Probably not. Oh, there's that one from the tank. Okay. A little late on there, hold fire on those four rounds. Enemy tracked vehicle? Oh. Who the heck shot that? Who knows? Alright, well, they're coming in. So far, our little scout unit up here is doing fairly well. Okay, enemy troops routed down here. That's good. Here's that ASU-85. Or BTRs. Rocket trying to go for that ASU. Enemy tracked vehicle, don't know what that was. BTRs going right for this fortified line. Hey, you can actually see the tow missile going out for this thing. Let's see if it hits. Ah, <coughs> oh, barely. There, come on. What are you stowing? No, you're not stowing a lot of missiles. You got ten just in total. Come on. Hit it. Yeah, good one. It's nothing, nothing more satisfying than see that missile come in. 
Now that was actually a very smart move because what that did was it was going as fast as it could up this road while making a smoke screen. So now there is a big smoke screen shielding all of these units here as they try and get up. Which is fairly good. Oh, well, they just spotted those troops. Oh, wow, that's a lot of 50 caliber shooting at them. Uh, and a tank. That's... That's gonna break them quick. Now, if that doesn't break them, nothing will. Now, see, the problem with this, in general, is the enemy have the potential to overwhelm us with numbers. So, see, now this is less of a, um... What's the, what's the word here? Less maneuver than this game usually has uh, when it comes to your own units. I'm gonna deploy those mo uh, to, uh, mortar there and start hammering these guys as they come up. Uh, but that's mostly just because of the way we have our units deployed. We're, we're deployed around our objectives, we're letting them come at us. But if you play a, a meeting engagement or uh, an attacking engagement, it's very tactical, lots of movement. You have to... Uh, timing orders is a big deal because, uh, again, you don't have the option uh, or you, you don't have the quickness uh, that, that you can depend on. Ooh, nice. Nice one. You don't have the... You can't depend on your units responding to your orders in time for them to matter, so you have to plan things out ahead a lot. It's a, it's a very... It's a very thinking man's game when it comes to that. Uh, it's not a lot of... Uh, it's not as much of a... It, when, you, when you hear real, t real time, you don't necessarily think of uh, very slow gameplay, but it's very slow gameplay. We're going to start firing for effect as they come through these firing lanes. Slow them down as much as possible. Now you see, because of all that smoke, they definitely were able to get much closer. Uh, also, this M114 is out of ammo, so it can't lay down fire. Alright, here comes another tow missile. Let's see how well it does. Can it destroy that? Nope, missed. Oh, and one of our APCs was able to kill that troop. Nice. I'm just going to keep that fire for effect going until... Eh, until this guy gets to 70, then we'll hold. It, does, it should do quite a bit of uh, morale damage to him. You're on 70. And you're good too. <clears throat> That'll be doing plenty of damage to them. There are vehicles here of unknown type. They could be tanks, they could be trucks for all I know. I'm hoping that they're not tanks. If they do start racing up here, this... Uh, Tow carrier's already used half of its ammunition. Now, there are a couple of tanks here that would be able to help, but still. Let's go fast here, see what happens. A lot of infantry in this northern plain here. Oh, yep. People just saw those guys. Oh my god. Alright, we lost an M114. Yeah, he got hit. It was the one that was empty, so that's not a big deal. Oh, I just lost something there, so... Okay, we're getting it. We're in engagement range now. That motorized rifle squad is not having a good day. Here comes that tow missile. Miss. Down to three on that. Okay, there goes that motorized rifle squad. My god. 
There you go. Will that missile do anything? Nope, missed. SOP, no. Hard target range. 2K ish. Soft target range. About a thousand ish. Oh, they did get him with the missile. Nice. It's a BDRM, or BRDM. Ugh. A BTR, another one. another missile. See, that's a good place. That was a good place to put that tow carrier, though it is now out of ammunition, so this last missile either will hit and kill it, or... Hey! Nice one! Nice, good send-off there. Okay, we got enemy fixed wings coming in. SU-17s. Uh, SU Man pads, come on. Wire target. Yeah, they're hitting our... Well, they took out one of our... M113s. Okay, there go the man pads. I think they hit. So we lost one M113. M114 up, uh, or M113 tow carrier still up. They took out another one of those BTRs. BRDM2 ATs and ATs. So these are what the missiles are coming from. Here they come, those infantry squads. SOP. Hold on soft targets. Yeah, we'll hold on the soft targets for now. Not to, so we don't waste ammo on the main guns. We got a pillbox there. It's meant to... It's got almost 5,000 rounds of ammo. Be giving them hell the whole way there. Plenty of burning wrecks along this highway. Okay, pillbox is taking fire. It's kind of meant to, really. Okay, a lot of infantry coming up. These are all the contacts. The enemy fixed wing spotted again. Now they're coming to the southern approach. Man pads down here should have line of sights pretty early on. They do. Those are anti-tank. That is a hit. That was a bomb drop. Oh yeah, multiple bomb drops. No casualties, no casualties. Panicked, heavy damage on the tow carrier, but it is out of ammo. No casualties on the gun, buttoned up there. Light damage there. That wasn't the worst. That wasn't the worst, and no fires got started, because fires can start in forests, which is a problem. Oh yeah, they keep trying to push through, but they're not doing so hot right now.
incoming rockets towards this tow carrier. Oh no, towards that. Oh no, it's towards the... Towards our M60. Oh, another fixed wing flight spotted. I'm 113, tow carrier, come on. We lost a uh, main battle tank. Damn it. See, there is a fire now here, which is why this one's moving out. I want you to advance. Advance to there. Oh yeah, plenty of contacts in the north there. Oh shit. Oh, we lost our tow carrier up here. I completely missed that. Oh, and there's... Oh no, we didn't lose it. There's just... Oh no, there's just a... A huge, uh, Fire going on. Okay. Move back there. Alright, so there's just a big fire there. That's why they're moving out. 